We'll set up take those. How's it going? Um, <clears throat> today, um, I have a bunch of different shit to explain. Uh, but I'm just going to start with uh, basically Elvis and um, just uh, the way that people have um, basically been for a long time, or at least a couple of people have as a really huge example of um, basically how fast life can be. And this is a story that um, happened to me when I went to a Japanese restaurant and I went to go and eat. Um, I ordered a bowl of some soup or something on my break, even doing some construction. And uh, this Japanese girl comes up to me after she gives me a glass of water and she sets it down perfectly and I could see like you know um, this person's foot you know that was like me in a rush you know like a smashing is what they call it and when something just smashes everything you know it's like when like you know Japanese people are really quiet usually you know but it was like it was like a big foot that was mine you know that was just like still like if I avoided everything else and I, I was still waiting on a person still didn't get anything and I'm like this is what I have you know it was like a rush and it was just like a foot just stepped you know and it was just like a crush and I could just feel a fucking glass of water it was like all I get is this glass of water smashing glass just you know and I could just see how fast somebody's life could be you know if they went this route you know and I mean completely went this route and um Basically, it's just about how religions like Allah, you know, which is um, basically it's and This will be explained like on another video probably but um, It's just about how you know, it's Allah is like, you know, splatter like this and it's a rush of vagina fluid You know and you know the, the male part is just to come when you say God that is when semen is going out like this and in a rush you know and can make mistakes and when you're that calm as semen that came out at any time you know people have had all of their children that way you know it is in a rush and because I mean you don't leave a person behind you know but you have to call it you know at some point and when someone says you know you're gonna die have this you know, and I mean, if you just stopped at that point and that's it, you know, your life could be that fast, you know, and I just want to say there's a few cases of people that have had that happen and it's way more people than you really think. You know, it could be half of us, you know, because I mean, I mean, what would you rather do? Have your neck hurt or have a huge ass fucking you know, 10 inch fucking railroad nail go through your fucking skull, you know, or accept a penis, you know, or a vagina. <laughs> I mean, it's about the same diagram, you know, and I mean, just, just to get killed and just boom, and your life's over, no worries, blink, you know, it can happen, you know, somebody is going to want that, you know. And I, I feel that's unfortunate. I don't think that it's right, but it's happened in the past. It's how we got to here. There's a lot of people were like, you know, my life is simple. You know, I'm a simple woodcutter. You know, I'm a simple person, you know, and I could just simply make something and, you know, my life could be gone like that and then it'll be gone, you know. And I mean, you look at people and you're like, you know, time really can go by that fucking fast with another person. And it can you know, but I really want to maximize the time that I have, you know, because, you know, I think that when I smoked weed, you know, that I could slow down time, and I wanted to learn how to do that myself without smoking it, you know, actually have, you know, if I have a minute, I should have about 20 years to do something, it looks like. I think Japanese people have mastered it. I think they take forever doing anything, you know, and they have that much time <laughs> to fucking explain something. You know, but anyway, um, maybe not, you know, I mean, I don't know, but the point is, is that this is going to be the shit that caused it, 
you know, and um, here we have Elvis here, you know, which is, uh, this is a character from Fallout uh, on Android, and he checks his watch, and he, he has this fat guy that's an arm, is you, when you listen to Elvis, and he's, you know, you know, and just the way that that works, you know, he's just born you know, and um, <clears throat> the way that shit is, you know, you know, um, you can't really do much to a guy that is like that, you know, when it's just walking through, you know, and, um, and here we have just basically what it looks like, but all he does is look at his watch and it's old and stinky, it's a stinky unwashed arm after 10 days, fat use is put back into circulation, breaks things, and does nothing useful. This is a guy in form when I was uh, working, and he fucking was, there was a guy that looked just like Elvis, okay? Everything he touches breaks, and he looks like a fat mafia reject, you know, and he was like getting gas with me. He asked me if I could give him some gas. I was working with him, and he goes and gets this fucking huge ass gas um, container and, um, and we pull up to the gas station and he's holding it and I mean before he gets in the door he breaks my fucking handle he's like ha oh, ha oh, you know sorry about that man you know something and then he gets in the car and then he fills up his gas thing you know and that's what he does is fills up his gas thing you know, and, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I just think that if every single person had to agree to be that, you know, a woman looks at it and goes, man, you know, that looks good, you know, to be, you know, like if Elvis could be anyone, you know, look at an old person and it looks like an old version, you know, like, oh, that looks like an old version of him, you know, you can't say that that is good you know you can't you know and uh you know and we have over here um faces looking away saying doom and chick you know and it's basically some guy still that was scared and he's looking this way and it says doom chick doom chick you know doom chick doom chick doom chick the way he walks is trampling on top of everything you know, you know, it already did it, you know, and, um, you know, you can just see how, you know, someone like scared of gangsters, for example, listening to rap music, this is the same type of shit, it's shit, you know, and he's just, you know, he's looking left and he's scared of something else, there's no music, you know, and he's looking, you know, he looks to the left, so now he has to look to the right because someone's dancing and looking this way, looking this way. So he has to try to look in that direction and that direction and that direction and that direction four times in the beat and dance to it just because he's playing it. You know, and has absolutely no other control over it. Over himself, you know, with that much social interaction going on. If that's God. It's just a big early semen splash and you like what do I do with it just you know what do you do with it you know and don't fucking don't think that that's what people are you, know, you, you understand how a penis works I mean you can't just have one person's penis the, the, the last one you know being what you were understanding it came out you know you don't think that the smartest person is going to be it you have to find a problem and fix it you know, and the song title is, wow, you know, a sexy Chinese pretzel, I should have one, you know, and it's just, you know, old people just, boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, ding, boom, you know, and then goes and, you know, gets his, you know, Chinese little pretzel, and, oh, this is a nice Chinese pretzel, you know, and then eats it right in front of you, you know, and you're just like, hey, shit, you know, and, um, you know, and then everyone has to have one because, you know, you have elders, you know, which you're like, I'm going to have one. And you have to copy it. You know, it's a law that you have to copy what you hear, you know.
you have to you have to be there present and say it when it's heard. So you don't want to be like quiet when someone is speaking, because you want to be speaking when someone is speaking. You know, you got to be able to. You know, you can't just have one person step and you're like, that's the only leg. <laughs> I'll just, uh, and that's what this caused. You know, I'll just, uh, you know, and um, <clears throat> then we have over here, you know, just some totally poor shit. And this is just using, you know, inspiration from KJ, Kim Jong-un, you know, of me, I think. But anyway, you know, it was just, can I play with face? And, you know, here he is like, hmm, yeah. And, um, you know, it's just like a little kid can, like, just touch my face and play with it, you know, like that, you know, you know try to touch it. And, um, <clears throat> you know, and then you're, like, you know, causing these things. It's like you can't hear it, can. And these people that did that, you know, didn't have time to look at it, and they could. You know, it's just a little mechanic that that made, you know, and I don't like it. You know, and then, you know, he picks at it and hurts it. You know, says it's okay. Has a briefcase. He's holding a briefcase in a little diagram. Of how the kid's acting, you know, the kid has a briefcase. He's just swinging it around and shit. You know, and then he's touching your face still. You know, and it's like, can I play with your face? Like, molest you. And everything that you have to say is fucking melted chocolate. You know, on your face permanently. You're like, this is my face for the rest of my life. I'm just gonna have a picture of my face with some fucking extra melted chocolate on it. You know? <clears throat> and, you know, that is gonna cause aging. <laughs> it's gonna cause ugly errors. It's gonna cause. <laughs> you know? And, um, and then, you know, here we have, you know, this is Chick. Do you like your face as Chick-fil-A? Come on. And it's totally forced because, you know, that's like Chinese people being happy. You know, really. I think it is. <laughs> you know, because it's so fucking forced over there. You know, and, um, I mean, just the way that guy looks, it looks like Ronald McDonald. And it's the same character. It's the same one. It's showing you that. You know, but these three things have to be fixed. You know. And, um, and then we have, you know, the fact that, you know, I'm reading this, you know, that little privacy <laughs> moment sucks ass, I don't like it, you know, you know, being indecisive at all is violent murder totally forced, and just with the little, you know, swirlies there, you know, I mean, I'm just seeing like a swirly in a toilet just sitting there, a swirly fucking hair, just sitting there and then here we have you know a three day old burger and ketchup and mustard as a person you know and I mean just to see that you know an old you know in between you know two breasts male or female who cares you know here's a head here trying to explain something here's the physic where you slip up and mess up and can't see it and you know this is me looking at, you know, basically me at work. I was working at a, um, a Walgreens. And there was this girl and her titties were mushed together. And it smelled so fucking bad that it was that. And it was me not being able to decide something. And it was why I drew that. That is that. You know, and it, it smelled like just a bunch of cheese and burger. Old. Nasty fucking disgusting you know and I was like you know, I could smell it that close and I'm like this is fucking gross you know and it's totally forced you know and it's just how titties can overlap one another and I mean just to have that many titties overlapping one another and it's forcing left and right and you can't make up a decision you know I mean it's just disgusting and then over here we have you know same thing you know, and it's, you know, liking a man's nasty, sweaty titties. Defining choice, Salisbury being said. And it's totally forced. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, you know, this guy has one eye blinking, and I don't know why. But, I mean, why would I say that these man's titties look good when I like this kind of breast? I mean, why would I have this food for the breast to be looked at? It's that small of a little action 
So it shouldn't be that my life's purpose is to try to smell that and to try, you know, to like that and it be what I am just saying only. You know, you can't, you can't just only, you know, you can't just be, you know, that. You know, and it's just that I would walk up to a place and ask that question, you know, and I wouldn't want to ask the fucking question, you know, and it, it's just forced, and it's because of percussion, you know, we have cussing, percussion, you know, showing well I is, percussion, you know, it's percussion, you know, it's got to be used, you can't just be like, well, there's a female, it's come all over the place, someone having a problem, you know, and it's percussion, you know. Then here we have, you know, I would like to order realistically one strawberry jelly Danish with 900 pints of jelly oozing the fuck out of it and I want it in one hour and I want to eat it in one hour and can and will on a silver hued served right to me plate. And here's a person, this is me when I was in the car with my cousin and my other friend, you know, Toy and Chris, and this is just regular other people. It's a mathematical diagram. And then here, you know, is a fucking Danish with so much jelly, you know, that I can't eat it in one sitting. So I shouldn't be able to request something like that. It's not realistic because it's not possible. I can't eat 900 pints of jelly in one sitting, you know, and it's too big, you know, and if that is what friends are, you know. <clears throat> And it's just unrealistic orders. It's like, you know, um, you know, still comfortable in public, trapped, and with supplemental unwanted friends. Fuck off, people. I had another direction to go. Convenience said, this is me, smart, but only fueled by this pressure, you know. And it's just, you know, because I can speak, I must support friends that I can't even say no to. And that's saying, you know, I didn't want these people here. Because I could have chose some other choice there. You know, I didn't want to have Chris there. But because of all the people there, you know, it seemed that I had to be his friend. But I, I could definitely have said no. But I couldn't because it was unrealistic. You know, and I was like, well, that's not realistic for me. I could have found a better rapper, you know, or a better person. I didn't really like him that much. You know, and I really did not. I mean, I saw how much shit content when I met him in school for the first time. And I could see how much he could shit his pants and look like, you know, a huge, you know, giant, you know, jug of, you know, that dude, the, the Kool-Aid guy. And I was like, that guy stinking and smelling like the 1930s, fat, you know, is not going to be attractive. And I was like, that's what he's going to look like. If I'm his friend, because he was in the, um, it was like the flag guard or whatever it's called for the, you know, gay ass military. It's gay. You know, for sure. It's a waste. It's invisible fucking. You know, it doesn't do anything. It's not even real. It can't be seen. You know, it's a waste of space. <laughs> I was like, this guy's a waste of my space. You know, and I, I meant it. You know, and I didn't mean anything else. And it's just all these people that are forced, you know, you can't have things like this and like waiting to get this and you can't see it and you want it, you don't want it, it's someone else, you know, it's not realistic, you know. <clears throat> so yeah, and then here we have, you know, me just walking along and here's a, like a building and, um, uh, the building is a person looking at me walking. You know, because I could turn, like I could just keep walking and it looks like a person is looking at me to see if I'm looking at the building. It's the person looking at me. I'm looking at a building and it is a person, you know. I'm looking at someone in the building waiting to see me pop up and stops to see if I'm going to rob them or just uh, not wave or wave or help them later or if they need me. I mean, that much urgency and it's not even needed. You know, and that it's an actual person that's taking up a space of my vision to think that that's a person and it's still just a building. But I see a person watching me. You know, I see these big eyes like a commercial, you know, looking. You know, be like one of those car commercials, you know, or something, you know. 
And, um, you know, so I'm walking along and I turn to my left and the person is the building. And then, you know, we have where I'm, you know, sweeping at a job site. I'm sweeping at a job site. And, you know, somehow a breaker box looked like the math equivalent to seeing a hung person dead and also two children cuddling and hiding from me under a giant triple XL sweatshirt. And it was just, there was a breaker box right here when I was sweep, sweeping in this, uh, it was like in these big buildings. And, um, you know, here, you know, I could see, you know, the mathematical equivalent to it uh, was, you know, someone up there hung and then, you know, hiding. And then I could see two children also, you know, in that area. And I could just see it like, you know, you turn away and it's like it's there. You know, and I was like, this is a uh, visual space that I could be using. And I was like, I could see something, but it was a mathematical equivalent to something. So I was like, what if I could see things and have a mathematical equivalent to it? You know, like I could say, you know, if I wanted to trip out, it looks like I've never been able to. And I've never been able to see things, you know, and <clears throat> that's because. I haven't been able to see anything but what I really see, you know, like things that don't look like things else, you know, like things that are mathematical equivalents needs to have a mathematical equivalent to what it is. I mean, if that's what a breaker box looks like, you know, I think that I was just looking at, you know, probably a problem here, but it was just for like one second until startled. It's like when you look at something you're like, oh shit, and then you don't see it, you know, it's like, what was that? You know, and then, you know, two bags, wait, two bags in mass can be placed or pixels. Then we have a one to four ratio exchanged. How do I use these equal measurements pixels? And I think that it was a pixel that I was looking at, you know, because I think that pixels, like these little dots you're seeing in this camera, are little tiny pieces of pixels that we see with our eyes. Because you know, I can see little shit running around. I can see little tiny dots, you know, on my visual screen. But I think that it was just some kid trying to gouge out my fucking eye, you know. And, um, <clears throat> and just the gestures that, you know, continue playing along. And they're too, they don't live long enough. There's no source for it to live. It's like having a little kid, boy, doll, play guy with a little head and he has just a little hair on his head and he, he looks like the little hair that he has is just a little tiny piece of jelly on a little small cupcake and it's only going to last for so long and you can see it's just useless permeance you know um, and then you know for just one flash of a second you know walk outside and I see two wadded up brown trash bags and will look like a Japanese woman or Asian sitting down in a blue jacket holding her knees. And I, I saw this outside and it was just like, you know, it was like two crumpled up trash bags and I could see how much it would take in pressure and in equalizing the math to create it myself before I walked in to look at it. Before I look at it and then it disappears. Um, you know, I saw like a little girl like sitting with her knees like this and like that. You know, yeah, just holding herself like this, you know, for a second. And it is what I wanted to see because it compresses the information. It's like if I'm sitting here like this and I'm holding it like that, it should be, you know, compressed in an area and I could see it. So I know that it was probably a person that tried to do that and look at that. And I think that it worked. That's what I think that it worked, you know. <laughs> But I mean, just for a second, you know, and I, I want to be able to see visuals, you know, and I don't want to have something that is going to not be an energy I can use, you know, so I don't die and get old and look like shit. Shit. You know, and I, I don't want to be interrupted. And then here we have, you know, um, this is kind of um, the same thing, you know, Elvis wavy ass hair. You know, and he's got, you know, a lost watch and it says a new shirt. You know, I mean, if someone loses their watch and has a new shirt, what are you going to do if you're pinned by the question? You know, and then the guy's just going to be like, huh, I got a new shirt and you're going to spend your whole life 
just trying to see if he had a new shirt or not, and that was your purpose. Like, I'm going to do that. I want to pay attention, you know. I don't want to just end my life and then make a small comment and I can't see what's there. You know, that is not going to be proper. It's not going to ever, you know. And, you know, because, I mean, that's just two things. That's like pinning your two legs. It's like one leg spread, one leg spread, and then right here, and just smell the dirt. You know, and it wouldn't be any good, you know. And then, you know, look at antennas, you know. And then here's what he's going to say. <laughs> you know, he's going to say this to you. You know, he'll say, you know, kids shaving is like kids shaving, you know. And I don't know what the hell that is. But basically, <clears throat> you know, kids shaving. And then here we have a diagram about it. And it's, uh, here's some toy shaving equipment. And then, wow, smooth enough to fuck. And then he has hairs on his face. And then it says, no way. You know, so while somebody is sitting there looking at it, you know, lost his watch, has a new shirt, and then somebody's using toy shaving equipment. You know, a kid, you know, with no hair on their face at all. And is using toy shaving equipment with pricklies on their fucking face, really. You know, and it's like, <laughs> You know, and, you know, it's just fucked up looking. I mean, I can't explain it anymore. It explains itself. And, um, you know, clean is my goal. Here's what I mean by clean is my goal, is that STDs and shit, you know, shouldn't be things that are clouding up my vision. If I'm looking at a virus or just little particles, I need to look at things I need to look at that are actually fundamental and useful for me to use and look at, you know, I, I don't, if I'm going to have a visual that I produce, that I see, or something that I feel, it has to be real and it has to be a mathematical equivalent, and it has to have willpower and force, you know, for it to fucking be there, willpower, a force, you know, and, um, you know, and then all things with STDs are sores, bumps, itches, scabs, bugs, and are pinpointed, and I don't want them. But as an exchange, it seems, you know, pixels for pain, you know, seem to be it. Especially for AIDS patients, because it seems like AIDS means help or like guides, you know. But it is irrelevant, you know. So basically what I'm saying is, you know, I'm looking at somebody's face, you know, and I'm seeing STDs and shit. I don't want to just sit there and look at, like, bugs being bugs. You know, I don't want to see how a bug is a native bug that is a bug and is a bug, you know, I want to see things that entertain me, you know, instead of seeing, you know, things that are not mathematical equivalents and are off a little bit and a little bit wrong, you know, and can't get it right, you know, and just a little bit, you know, but I, I, I think that just kind of solves how people have gotten diseases and have seen better visuals and better things and felt better things and saw better things and could see like what I'm saying better because they were kind of crippled in another way, you know, because I don't have an STD, and if I did, I'd better be paid well, you know, that's what I think about that, and then, <clears throat> you know, so here we have, you know, rooms, anything felt, heard, smelled, seen, thought, seen in my vision field too is tiny dots, not the small controlled environment illusions that I carefully did, and I carefully did those, you know, the, the illusions I was talking about that I wanted to see. I want to see a real thing. You know, I don't want to see an illusion. Illusion sounds like I'm losing something. It sounds like Muslim. And when I hear the word delusion, it sounds like penis. Exactly what it is. Christian. You know, and both of those things, you know, are not going to help with something that is a thing. You know, and it's, it's enough time. You know, you don't need to spread something and then <laughs> dead shit is going to not let me see something so someone else can fuck and I can't control it. I need control over myself, you know? And when I see little things in a room and I want to envision a room, like close my eyes and envision a room, I don't see tiny little particles in the room and just look at just one particle, you know, just to wonder for that long, 
that for that fucking long about a fucking tiny little particle. Oh, well, there was this one particle that was at 20,000 feet in the air compared to something in the ground. You know, and I have to listen to some slow fucker explain it and look at it. And there's that many fucking particles. I can't just create a building and then go in it with my envisioning. I can't just, you know, I mean, why the hell would there be that many dots? And I'm like, wait a minute. You know, there's the uh, 20,000th dot. You know, I mean, are you fucking kidding me? And it's something else to look at. Just because you have eyes that can't even see, you know. And um, I want to be able to draw a room. I want to be able to be in a room. I want to be able to close my eyes and envision a room. I want to be able to go to a place and walk in that room and be in it you know, and do more things, you know, and I know how to do it, you know, and it's, it is like, it is astral projection, you know, but unless they think it has to do with your ass, because I don't think that's it, but it's something that I'm working on, and I wish it had a term, you know, and it's just some form of other being, being in another place, you know, and i um, creating it. You know, covered up with frame skips, slips, falls, real accidents that have become also fame, skill, and talentedness being casually observed. You know, names like, you know, Sir Wooden Meanwhile, you know, I mean, that's just not a name that would really be able to be used. It's got laughing in it. You know, um, rough points on a face, abrasive, not smooth, as well as cactus points which piss off in fingernails and cactuses. You know, just you know, rough textures that you don't want. Like if I create my appearance and I'm seen, you know, I don't want to have, you know, like an ugly appearance, one little hair, you know, and it looks a little annoying. It's like having William, Robin Williams, just sitting there constantly, Robin Williams, you know, just being Robin Williams, Robin Williams. You know, that shit is so annoying. You know, just for it to just constantly have those errors in the way it was speaking. It's just not correct and it's just, it's just disgusting, I mean, there's no reason to like this shit. It's just too much hand in my face, you know, over and over. Would you like tea? Hand in your face, you know, it's so a fucking annoying, you know, and I want to cure that. I want that to be gone. <sighs> Illusory visions only seen with shit like peyote, magic mushrooms, and acid LSD. Weight equation to your skeletal skull with backwards gay hat sucking a live dick with metal music or equivalent just smelling dirts. And I mean, when I said it, you know, I said that I don't want anything to be gay or straight. I want to be able to do something and move past that. You know, I shouldn't be scared of antennas, for example. You know, and I mean, you can just see a little skeleton, you know, wanting that nasty dirt that can't even be wanted and still wants it. It's like, that guy that likes groceries, you know, <clears throat> and, you know, it gets too unwanted, you know, and just the, you know, these pixels are sold as, is what I said, sold as rough points on face, you know, anyone, you know, just a little piece you don't want, you know, and that's, that's the, like a pixel being taken when you feel stuff like that. Or some kind of abrasion and someone's just bothering you, you know, and, you know, people asking you shit and old people, young people, regular people, mostly old people, as an example, it looks like, or young or whatever, you know, but definitely young, you know, too, and just like, mm -hmm, you know, I like to hang out and, you know, I have a party time and all that shit, and like, shut the fuck up, please, you know, I just need to correct it, you know. I wouldn't want my nose to just fall apart and just looking at all the little dots in it. Like, <laughs> that looks cool. How about a piece of dirt in there and maybe a plant growing out of it? You know, that is something that I need to control over. That's what the point is. And see, if someone can't pay attention and they're that numb to what's going on, then they wouldn't be able to know what's going on. You know, but you can direct that with people like that that can't focus for long enough because it's a condition that they would have to be forced to have, you know. And there is a cure to it, but it is that bad. So, um, you know, calculation of made decisions as of current. 
And here we have the obedient man. This is like those pornographers that just can't pay attention to anything. You know, anyone not having a hair of hair, um, you know, 15 to 16 inch huge ass railroad nail spikes. This is inside of a penis measured. You know, it's basically also the equivalent to a breast, you know, if it had silicone. And just how it can be aimed at a face. And if someone fucks that way, and it looks bad. You know, probably that BBW guy that's got that bald head. He's like, fat, you know. And he's bald, you know, and he fucks it. And, um, you know, the person may be served one vodka on the rocks without vo vomiting while swallowing cum. Or swallowing the real deal, you know, the word R-E-E-L, in short life in a faded blackout mode with no recollection of other things for every single pixel he has or she. And, um, you know, nice dicks religion and nice pussies too religion, you know, bye-bye. And it's just, that's how short your life could be, you know, looking like that. <sighs> you know, but just one. You know, I wouldn't ever. Well, this is widespread. Been around since, been around since is forgotten. You know, when you say been around since, been around since, you know, this is a lot of people who have actually been forced to do that. You know, and it's just, that's how it used to be, you know, like 1700s and 1800s. And, you know, now still. I mean, there's a lot of people who just can't, you know, fathom it. And I mean, how can you fix that? You know, and this, what your part is, you know. And that's just, you know, changing it, you know, and just, you know, making your point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so uh, descriptions, examples always here. I'm using a description which explains the description, etc., as an expression. And it's just saying, you know, just for closing eyes to so use CEV, you get a wrinkle recognition. Trip to a zoo and much time dawdling and needs words to make weird out threatening or funny or you just say that you're Jewish shit. You know, um, this is basically saying about letters put in a certain way, you know. The method is so useless, takes pieces of an idea and fucks it as if the fuck is worth more. Saying letters. And um, here we have the CEV person. Here's letters here. Um, Here's like how it looks for me when I close my eyes and I say the word letters. It prints it out like that with the pressure and it'll say letters like that up here. But this is what it's been looking like and it's just such a waste and that it has all these little dots in it that make it instead of just a perfect clean print, you know, of it. And um you know, one snapshot of one piece of a letter you were saying is ripped off of your face. You know, all these little pieces of toilet paper, you know, someone puts, you know, a little cut and puts a little piece of toilet paper and makes it all out of those. And just all those things that just stink, you know, like being in a fucking toilet and bathroom and you can just smell a fucking eyeball that looks like this, that looks good with coffee. You know, I don't think that that is ever going to be useful for anyone. For me, you know, it's not going to be. For you, it's not going to be. You know, and then, you know, here we have, you know, all these little dots that are making this up. And some, something is so small and, some, and it's not important. You know, it's like, oh, well, this little piece of a letter is worth more than your life, you know. So I will just, you know, take these little small pieces here and create something. You know, it will be worth more than you. Just a little small dab. You know, just a tiny little piece. And, uh, you know, makes, you know, skin cold with the yellow particles surrounded by red. Has sugar cracker taste and takes your arm apart while you are shivering and all other body parts. And basically, you know, you'll see it on your arms like when you're in school or in prison or in jail or somewhere you don't want to be. And you feel cold, a little bit lifted, you know, and it feels like, you know, you're kind of stuck in a position. You feel really cold. And your arm, you know, will have, you know, like really small little pieces, you know, that'll be yellow and it'll have like little red around it. 
and it's like all these little pieces, you know, and it's really uncomfortable and it's those pixels. And it should be that your skin is just a complete form instead of it be all those little pieces. I want the little pizza. I want the little pizza. I want the little pizza. You know, and someone is going to sell your pizza, you know, little Caesar pizza. You know, oh, you know, that is so tiny of a movement. You know, and you can't have, you know, move, oh, you know, just that type of stuff is just so ridiculous that this has to be a full arm. You can't have little pieces, you know, that makes that, you know. <clears throat> and that's what I'm trying to change is a little tiny, little mini movements, you know. And then we have, you know, makes food like a pancake, tiny pieces that move fastly and are not edible at all, forced to be eaten in front of someone. It's like food of a pancake. It's like when your foot is a pancake. You know, it's like when your hand is like a pancake and it's like little tiny pieces of your skin is the same mathematical equivalent to little particles if it was your skin, you know, a fat pancake about that thick. You know, and you're like, oh man, that melted butter that's like fucking 100 years old looks good on that shit pancake, you know. <clears throat> Um, and then we have, you know, music, listen, and it's just how there's little pieces also in the music, you know, where it could just be little tiny little pieces that are so unimportant that you have to pay attention to and listen to. Mostly for me, it's that slow rock music that takes forever, you know, and also trap music, because I, did, I didn't want to listen to it, you know, I didn't want to hear it anymore. I've seen it so many times. You know, and I've finished it, and why is it still coming out? You know, I'm like, these little particles are more important than my life. That's not true. You know, you have to call it. You know, I want to rap battle against life and stop it from being something that I want to accept willingly. You know, <clears throat> it makes music have no pressure or speed, like a boat with no wind, an engine all the way, and only shows real you who is dead to hear something else and does not recognize who you are at all and pictures you as killed or floating in water as a corpse and continues to do anything else useless and more made of you which you can't even want. It's just so many little pieces that are put together. You know, when I hear a song it goes do and then someone sings it and goes and says that sounds right. That's how bad it gets. You know, that voice sounds sexy. But I needed to hear, you know, a note when you're going, ah, and it's like, ah, and those little tiny little screams, I saved your life, you know, and stuff like that, that is just completely disgusting. It's like having to play a Gario. It's a useless thing, you know. And, uh, you know, schizo, big deal, what have you, you know, um, it makes all these kinds of things to say, you know, schizo, big deal, what have you, and you know, um, out of your sentence, it makes it look fat, popular, and out of, and of any other race, really, anything but you, you know, and, um, <clears throat> you know, it's just, you know, um, you know, um, you know, what have you, and, you know, big deal, and schizo. You know, there is no such thing as a schizo. You know, that is, you know, it's just garbage. You know, it's these little tiny little shivering letters, you know, that aren't fitting into something. You know, and why explain it for someone else and you're retarded, you know, because you can explain it and you have to be able to call it out. You got to be able to move. You got to be able to see instead of it's your way around, you know, and that's what you learn. You know, when you're fucking like that. You know, conclusion, this is a result of moral stipend people. 80,000, 100,000, million, 10,000, 1,000, 20,000, 30,000 are all USD wages. Our currency is garbage. Other currencies also differ by culture and use. All should be thought. You know, seven eighths for one half, etc. Trading halves and portions in amount of time with creativity is the only acceptable currency. So I'm saying, here's my ideas. I'm gonna take this and flip it that way. You know, is a better way of saying, you know, just kind of different measurements instead of saying, you know, this person has, you know, an eighty thousand dollar life, and his life is now over. You know, because 
You're like, well, these molds of people, you know, are little tiny useless things. It's like skeletal based person, you know. And just that their life is only, you know, one year, you know, of a moral stipend, which is moral. There's no use for the word moral. It doesn't do anything. You know, Indians. You know, okay, so this makes the currency, any alternative currency idea should be used using AKA cell reproduction, my reference more is currency rather than way to active passive killing, you know, because it's just, you know, to shiver my way into something I can't shiver my way into, you know, is just not going to be useful when I can have a perfect form of something, you know, so that's this part, and I think that sums up that part, so um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's just, you know, great thought flows, and you know, if you get better, if you let it get better, you know, but this is better, you know, so hope you enjoyed that, and, you know, enjoy your 44 or 27.